So now we know our planet cannot sustain the way our food is currently produced. I mean, it's literally setting the world on fire. But how do we smash the glass and pull the alarm on the system? How do we get to something better that we all want, deserve and need? To know what we can do to fix this, first we need to understand it. Remember when I said that these companies promised to end deforestation by 2020? Well, Greenpeace approached 50 of those companies and asked them to disclose their supply chains. Only five did. And all of them said their supply chain is too complicated and that they are not able to trace where the commodities come from. Too complicated. Right. But before we write off this idea, let's back up a little bit and try to understand this complicated system and see if these companies are actually sincere when they say this. Take a chocolate bar, for example. Millions and millions of these bars are made every year and shipped all over the world. So they need a lot of cocoa, a lot of palm oil, and a lot of milk. But the company that makes them doesn't produce any of these ingredients. The company is really just a brand. These ingredients are all bought in bulk from middlemen called commodity traders. The same thing applies to all the other commodities. Traders are buying palm oil from refineries that buy the raw product from producers in Indonesia, for instance. And where these producers operate? The odds are there was once rainforest. And the cocoa from countries like Ghana, where, yeah, you guessed it, it's grown on land that was possibly forest. Now you may think, okay, great, I'm just stop buying the chocolate bar from this company and tell my friends to do the same and problem solved. Well, not quite. This system of commodities and deforestation is intertwined with almost everything. Let's make a list. Fast food burgers, many cows raised on deforested land and or fed on soya that is also grown on deforested lands. Chickens, pigs, yeah, fed on soya too. In fact, from all soya produced in the world, 90% is used to feed animals. That's right. Food to feed food. Cookies, ice creams, noodles, all have palm oil in it. When I go beyond food, toothpaste, shampoo, soap, detergent, yep, all have palm oil too. And incredibly, even vast amounts of palm oil is now going into cars and trucks. Yes, you heard it right. We're growing crops that instead of becoming food to feed people, are being turned into fuel for trains, planes, and cars. So yeah, this is pretty complicated. Or not that complicated at all. Maybe it is true that these companies have gotten so big and the industry so out of control that they don't know the system they created works. But hey, if the checks keep coming, what's the incentive to change any of it? Maybe it's a whole lot easier to say it's complicated. If big brands were really committed to stopping deforestation, they would be tracking what they were buying from beginning to end, protecting indigenous land and funding forest restoration. So let's just call it like it is. It's not complicated. It's actually pretty simple. You don't do business with companies and governments that destroy forests. But the thing is, they won't do this on their own. It's up to us to make them. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll show you the solutions and what you can do to bring about a new fair 
food system that protects forests, people, and the natural world.